Buzzbuzz Players is the longest running theater in the country featuring people of color. And tonight, they're celebrating the 51st anniversary of the Visionary Awards held at the Hilton Universal in Los Angeles. So Asia Muse is here to bring you guys your favorite interviews from your favorite TV shows. I'm talking Fresh Off the Boat, Dr. Ken, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, and much, much more. I'm your host, Kanika Lal. Let's go see what's happening on the red carpet. Oh, girl. She's bringing in sexy back. Uh, achieving more than me, and I'm like double your age. Yes. Way back six years ago, I think Asian Americans weren't series regulars on television. Right. So for to, to kind of be there and experience that has been wonderful. It's where we're trying to tell, you know, very sort of universal family stories that, you know, through an Asian American point of view. Like the show isn't just for Asian Americans. First of all, you've been involved with East West Players since, I don't know, the beginning of your career out in L.A.? Yeah, for you, sure. I mean, I was born and raised in L.A., so they were kind of always around in my life. But when I first started acting, uh, yeah, they had a, a network of actors, uh, young actors, and they provided, like, workshops and classes and opportunities, and that definitely set me off uh, on a path. So uh, East West Players has been pivotal for me. Obviously, we're at an exciting time right now. We have conversations around us. Sorry. but. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. So how far or how close are we to where you want to be? I know you're an activist. You speak a lot about this, so. Um, I, it, we, have so, we have so much work to do and so many levels right now everywhere. Um, but in terms of our representation in, in the media, I think in, until we, until people are just getting cast in parts because they're right for it and not because of what they look like, I think that that's the most important thing. I mean, I don't want to get, I don't want to be cast because I'm Asian. I want to be cast because I'm Chloe. You've probably seen so much progress happening right now in today's industry from just the importance of Asian Americans in media and beyond. Yeah. Um, what do you have to say to that today? I think we have a long way to go still, but I do think that this is a unique time. Like throughout my career, there was always, you know, talk of. Are, you know, it's happening, it's happening, things are changing, and from the beginning of my career, you know. But now, uh, more than ever, I definitely feel like the, just the rise in consciousness, you know, in terms of just, uh, people are more aware of that there's a problem, that, uh, and it's not just people in our community, I feel like, now, I mean, in part maybe because of social media, like outside of our community, people are talking about why aren't, you know, why are we whitewashing these roles? Why are we doing all, you know? So it's a, it's an exciting time. You used to be a doctor, like, yeah. whoosh, and now you're in acting, which are two different industries, yeah. equally as hard. But don't you think maybe that, how did that pay off for you today? The fact that you're playing a doctor on TV is one reason, but how else do you think? Oh, I think because, you know, being behind the scenes, I created the show and I, and I, and I exec produced the show and have it. Having a say behind the scenes is just, I've never had this kind of creative say, you know, ever behind the scenes. So, you know, on anything I've done. So that has been, you know, a, a, an amazing learning curve for me, an amazing responsibility, and, and it's just changed my, my career life, my professional life. And I look at everything in a completely different lens. What are some of the things you learn from this show and from working with Ken and Susie? Susie Nakamura and Ken Jung are honestly the most kind, generous actors and people. And they've taught me how I can conduct myself as a growing actress, a gro growing Asian American actress, yes. and just how to make a stand being Asian, but also defining ourselves based on our morals, based on our everyday life and based on um, things that we just love to do, not just solely based on being Asian. What's your dream role? My dream. Yeah. I would roll or just oh, dream I mean, role. I would love to know your dreams too, but <laughs> in in your career, you know, I would love to win a Grammy one day. Wow. I would love to we're also in the universe right yes, now because I want universe. You to win it's a gonna happen. I that is one of them, and then on Broadway, being on Broadway is another one. Would so you be kind of, what character? I want to be a princess. Like is that who doesn't? Like, <laughs> Princess Jasmine, so that Me relates. Too. I know. See, we can both be Princess we Jasmine. Could be. We don't need Aladdin, though he's really hot, Aladdin. but we don't. No, need we him. don't. It's just gonna be two Jasmines. Uh, That's all we need. <laughs> I know that you've dealt with women's health um, on this show and also in reality, which is a great that the show is covering that important topic. Can you tell me more about your connection with that, and what would you like more people to be aware of in terms of women's health today? 
know. Well, I think it's when you say, you know, people don't even say the word cancer sometimes or breast cancer. They call it the C word, and I would like to take the, <laughs> that. Take, yeah, just I mean, it's it's normal uh, to you know have a regular self breast exam, and you should do it, and you should be encouraged to do it. I know there's a lot of fear around it, but I mean, there's nothing better for your health than for you to be to take charge of your own health and. And you know, because Ken's a doctor and the show, his character's a doctor, there's no better venue to sort of showcase the important things about your own health and then also make people laugh so they don't know that they're learning anything. <laughs> what a twist that finale left viewers. I mean, yeah. I don't want to say it either because people yeah, haven't caught up, but it was a twist. It was a lot. It was so it was so extreme actually when when it, the script went out, I got a bunch of people saying, um, oh my god, have you read the script? I'm like, no, I haven't, shh, quiet. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I'm like, they walk away, I'm like, when am I gonna re get this script? When am I gonna read this? And then I finally did, it was the day of the table read. And I sat down there, uh, like 30 minutes ahead of everyone else being there and read it. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I did not expect you, it. The fact that you were the last person to probably read it, but the most important to probably like read Like one of the last people to read the script yeah. for the season finale. Hi, I'm Hudson Yang, I play Eddie on Fresh Off the Boat. Uh, hi, I'm Ian Chen, and I play Evan on Fresh Off the Boat, but I do a terrible job. Hi, I'm Forrest Wheeler, and you're watching Asia News. Yeah.